from. Uh, I was just going to say thank you for joining us here on Friday. <laughs> it's a Saturday morning. Thank you for joining us here on Sky News. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I must be one of the very few people who just doesn't fall for Black Friday. Maybe I'm just very cynical, but it's actually raising another issue, isn't it? It's raising awareness now of the production and the consumption and the waste culture that we have. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Look, I think I think Black Friday is a problem, and there's a lot of attention and noise around that. But, but I don't think Black Friday and these major consumer events are the problem. You know, I think I think the problem is that they exist in an economy that's built on the principles of take, make, and waste. So we characterise that as the, the linear economy because it, it follows a straight line: take, make waste um, and that model is, is hugely damaging you know so 45% uh, of greenhouse gas emissions come from the way that we produce and use stuff and food and, and that's also responsible for 90% of biodiversity loss so um, you know these events whether it's Black Friday or next Tuesday um, there are just bad choices on the shelves or in the stores online um, and what we need to do is move to an alternative model, you know, and a circular economy is built on fundamentally different principles of eliminate waste and pollution, circulate materials at their highest value and products, and regenerate nature. Um, and really it's about giving people better choices and better options. But how do we then work with the production companies to make sure that actually they provide a, a greener alternative, for example, because it looks as though at the end of the day, money talks, doesn't it? And so they're going for the cheaper option, cheap labor. What's going to generate more money for them? Yeah, I mean, look, absolutely business is driven by profitability, um, but businesses are, are also um, thinking about uh, long-term viability and, and long-term health. Um, and we're, you know, we're already seeing this play out. I mean, obviously still the, the norm is uh, poor products made poorly with negative impacts. Uh, but there are examples, and we saw examples yesterday, um, of companies that are already uh, experimenting and putting different twists on, on Black Friday. So I think IKEA called it, it Green Friday. Um, and they had offers on products in store but only a selection of products um, and those are the products that are available through their buyback scheme where once you buy, once you buy an item of furniture and you finish using it you IKEA will buy that back from you for store vouchers that's that's how it works at the moment but they will then refurbish that product and sell it again which is just a hugely different way of working for a company like IKEA um, and you know it's not just IKEA this is happening across the economy there's a a much smaller startup outfit called Rapa Nui that called it Take Back Friday, um, where they encourage their customers to send back their clothing to, to them. And crucially, everything's been made by Rapa Nui to be made again. So it's, it's really a, a critical part of their business model and their short-term profitability. Um, so we, you know, we, it's attention. Um, we're seeing massive um, experimentation at the moment, major commitments, and over the next two, three, four, five years, we should expect to see a, a whole new set of options across the board for people wanting to purchase things on days like Black Friday. Dave Murphy from the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, thank you for your time. Thank you. Just a reminder of our breaking news.